Today on Brothers on Call. It's summer and we're helping people get their houses ready. Let's wrap this thing in caution tape yeah, and shut okay. it down. I have these outdoor speakers and I'd love to have them installed up on this side of the house. We need to beat the heat and get these jobs done fast. Woo! All we want to do is have some summer fun. Make it rain! <laughs> but it's not all that easy. I'm dead serious right now. You're gonna flip us. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're two brothers, licensed contractors, and we run a big business. We do everything from a quick fix to a full-blown renovation. I sell the jobs. I am a businessman. I do make a lot of promises. And I have to keep the promises. We love working together, but we are brothers. Yeah. Everybody relax. And that can make things interesting. So I just picked up a couple products that are geese repellers. Uh, I'm going to head over there now with Terry. We're going to install these things, and hopefully this is going to get rid of her goose problem. So we found a goose repellent product that's easy to install and is going to prevent these geese from laying their landmines all over this lawn. We're going to install these light beacons that flash. So tell me exactly how these things work now. It's very simple, actually. It's a flashing light. I have you over for dinner, right? We're sitting at the dining room table, and we're having a nice meal. And right in your face is a big flashing, blinking light. That's annoying. Yeah, no, you got me. That's annoying. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be here, right? You. Yeah, no, yeah. It yeah, doesn't no. matter because it's going to hit you from all over. All right, I get it. You, would, you wouldn't want to eat. So the flashing lights on these geese repellers are bright enough to keep the geese away because they have very sensitive eyesight, but they're dim enough that they don't really bother people. You have to be in the eye line of the goose. So up here, we're set much higher than down there. So we're going to install three different ones, one in the water, one on the dock, and one on the land. This one is very simple. That's a stake right there. This is a pretty central area right here. Right. It seems to be where a lot of goose grenades are. That couldn't be simpler. Couldn't be simpler. But the next ones are going to be a little more difficult. Let's right. put this one on the dock. What about right here? Yeah, I think that's the place to do it. Why don't you get in the water and you can zip this right in? I'll hold it and you zip it. Dude, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> if I fall in, I swear to God. Perfect. That's going to keep all the geese off the dock. Let's go. Let's do the other one. Now that we have the land beacon and the dock beacon installed, it's time to move to the water. The last one, the floating one, we're actually going to put this out in the water. You're not going anywhere without the boat. Come on, let's go. The way this thing works, it's weighted, it keeps it upright, and it actually floats out in the water. We're going to tie a rope to the bottom of it, drop an anchor to the bottom. go. This thing doesn't <laughs> seem too seaworthy. So it's me, a cinder block, and a banana, all in a boat. If anything so much as a ripple comes across that lake, we are capsizing. And I really don't want to get wet right now. Why are you standing? How else are we going to get this in the water? You're going to flip this thing. Settle down. Okay, wait a minute. I'm dead serious right now. You're going to flip us. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> installing a water beacon to keep geese away from this summer house and the absolute last thing that I want is to capsize this boat. I'm dead serious right now. You're gonna flip us. How else do you think we're gonna get it in the water? Turn around and sit here and toss it off the front. You're out of your mind right now. You're out of your mind right now. Stop it. Just steady the boat. Going in. Ah, I'm gonna tie this thing off and we're out of here. Overboard. Oh. Well, now that we got this thing in, it's kind of nice out here. <laughs> you want to take a little cruise? 